All right, big things to remember this week. If it doesn't sound perfect, don't move on. And you gotta really watch, well, since the, the way you're muting these, these chords, using your index finger, you gotta be extra careful. You hear any of those without the E string ringing out at all, you gotta, you gotta have to really watch to make sure that index finger is up under that E string. Uh, for the A5 chord, remember, you just barely have any any touching at all. So it sounds very metallic if you mute it right. So when you're strumming through, and if you hit that E string, I mean, you shouldn't hear the E string at all when you actually strum that string. So remember, like this this knuckle right here, don't have it go past the actual fretboard at all right there and now it's too much pressure move it back just barely 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 feather light feather light chances are if you hear that E string doing anything while you're strumming through the chord the pressure's off you have too much pressure on there anyway so if you get to 120 awesome if you don't just get to where you can sounding as best as you can so like if you do a video or audio thing what I'd like you to do is a demo at 60 and then the highest you got so if you get to 120 that would be a demo at 60 and 120 if you could only get perfectly up to 95 then do it at 60 and 95 so for your demo speeds here I'm gonna do 60 90 and 100 Make sure you count it at the very least 60 beats a minute. One, two, three, four. One and three and four. One and, and three and four. One and, and three and four. One and three and four. One Just try not hitting that low E string. Be more precise with your strumming. Remember, the muting is there as like a precaution in case you do hit it. So when you want to strum wild, you'll have it muted. But maybe try and strum a little smaller so you're only hitting the three strings you want to hear while still muting. One, two, three. Four, one, and, and three, and four.
think I'm going to uh, do what you said last night and take a break from working out because I swear the fucking back workout I did yesterday made my rib contusion, as I read about last night, made shit worse. And it makes sense why my back hurts now because the ribs are connected to your fucking spine. So whatever the hell he did jarred something back there as well. Move the whole damn rib cage. I hate not working out. You know how it is. It's like, damn it, I'm not sick. Now I'm fucking injured. Because of booze and darts. Alright, I'll, uh... Good luck on your crazy-ass work schedule. I'll see you Thursday. Good sir.